Hey YouTube, it's me, Lily and Joelle, and I'm super excited to be here with you guys today. Listen, I want to talk to you about the power of asking. And I'm not talking about asking me, no. We're talking about the power of asking God. Now, I got that from the, the Bible, of course, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 8. I'm going to read it for you. So it says, ask and keep on asking. And let me go back a little. This is Jesus speaking. He says to ask and keep on asking and it will be given to you. Seek and keep on seeking and you will find. Knock and keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who keeps on asking receives and he who keeps on seeking finds and to him who keeps on knocking, it will be opened. How powerful is that? First off, I want to know, do you believe it? And the reason why I ask this is because many of us sometimes will go to God, will ask him for something, but then if we don't receive it, we're like, eh, prayer doesn't work or God's not listening, whatever it may be, it's all wrong, right? Jesus is clearly telling us that if we ask, and keep on asking that we are going to receive. The cool part about God's word, yes, I did say the cool part, but the cool part about God's word is that he says in Isaiah 55 and 11, that his word does not return void. So what does that mean? When he says something, guess what? That's what it's going to be. So if he says that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength, then guess what? You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. We have to have that much conviction with the word of God that we can stand on it knowing that it's going to come to pass. He also tells us in Isaiah 43 and 26 to put him in remembrance of his word. So when you're asking God for something, right? You can say, Lord, um, I'm believing you for debt cancellation, right? He said that we ought to live the abundant life. He said that every single need we have is met. So you're asking him for that. Then you go to Matthew 7, 7 through 8 and say, God, I'm asking. And you said that if I ask, I'm going to receive, right? That is going to be given to me. That's how we have to talk to God and speak, well, speak to God concerning any matter. Because we're putting him in remembrance of his word. Not because he's forgotten about it. No, he wants to know that you know what the word says. So when you know what the word says, then you can confidently stand on the word and believe you receive when you pray and you will have it. It really is that just that simple. I believe that we sometimes overcomplicate the word because God wants us to have the abundant life that Jesus died for us to have. And if he wants us to have that, then guess what? We should want it for ourselves. So I just implore you to understand the power of asking. I want you to be confident in asking God for whatever it is that you desire, because he said that he will give us the desires of our hearts. But you also know that those desires, they need to be in line with the word of God. And you know what that means? Like you can't say, oh God, I want so-and-so's husband or so-and-so's wife. No, that's not in line with the word of God. That's actually crazy. But I need you to know that you have power when you ask God for anything or ask God in prayer confidently. Just remind him of his word. You want to remind him of Matthew 7 and 7, which says, ask and keep on asking and it will be given to you. Seek and keep on seeking and you will find it. Knock and keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. I think that is so powerful. Now that was from the Amplified Version. Let's go to the easy version. Jesus said, go on asking God for what you need, right? Then God will give it to you. Go on looking for what you need. Then you will find it. Go on knocking at the door and God will open it for you. Everyone who asks for something will receive it. He didn't say might receive it. He said, everyone who asks for something will receive it. Everyone who looks for something will find it. And God will open the door for everyone who knocks on it. 
Now that is the word of God. If you say that you are a believer, then I want you to believe. Don't hesitate to ask God. Don't hesitate to, to be bold in your asking, right? Because the Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion. So we can go boldly before God and ask him. If you find yourself in debt, yeah, you might have made a mistake, paid, you know, played around with your money, didn't do what you were supposed to do. But that doesn't mean you can't ask God to deliver you. That doesn't mean you can't ask him to say, Father, your word says that you will give me the desires of my heart. My heart's desire is to be out of debt. Now, that doesn't mean keep spending all willy-nilly. That doesn't mean that at all. But you want to ask God. And then once you ask him, right, you want to believe that you receive. And you want to do that when you pray. So you're going to ask God and then you believe you receive when you pray. And if you really believed, then you're not going to be having like conversations contrary to what it is that you're believing God for. You're not going to be saying stuff like, oh, I'm in debt. Oh, I owe so much money. No, your conversations are going to be, I'm out of debt. Every need is met. I already asked God. He's taking care of that, right? Because you believe that you receive. And when you believe that you receive, you can remain confident that it will happen for you. You don't have to know how. You don't have to know when. You just have to know in your knower that it's going to happen for you. So let's pray. Father, I thank you that the word that we received today did not fall on stony ground, but it fell on fertile soil, that the hearers of the word will know now that they have the power to ask of you and it shall be given to them, that they can seek you and they will find it, that they can knock and you will open the door. Father, I thank you that they will walk in boldness and confidence in their wants and desires as they ask you for them. And I thank you that they will stay in a state of expectation to know that they will receive because they believe they receive when they pray. So I thank you, Father. I give you glory, honor, praise, and adoration, and I decree it to be so, and I believe I receive when I pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Guys, if you liked what you heard today on this channel, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the notification bell and then you'll be able to get notified. But make sure you hit all notifications and you'll know when I upload all of my videos. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining. You guys have a great day. Be blessed. Bye-bye.